So people always ask me, I have an idea, I've got a product, how do I distribute it? How do I get it out there across to people's hands? Well, that's an interesting question. There are many ways you can do that. And I thoroughly advise it's best to go direct to consumer first. Build your brand online digitally, create the awareness, and then go to retail because you can negotiate a lot better. Going to retail is expensive. And if you don't have the right margins, I mean, you've got listing fees, in-store promotions, settlement discounts, return goods. You've got a lot to deal with that you don't realize it's gonna eat away against your margin. And if you come in to a retailer with already a brand existing online, they're more likely to give you a better deal and a better term doing business. The other thing I'd say when dealing with a retailer is don't do a sale or return. It might be tempting to get that listing in a store whereby they take it, but ultimately they only pay you when they sell, which can be very costly because if it doesn't really sell as you expect, you're gonna to have to take back all that product and deal with that, and it's gonna be very costly. So always insist on being paid 30 days or 60 days when you, when you supply the goods. The other question I get is how do I go international? How do I go global? How do I get my product worldwide? Now, the best way to get an exposure like that most effectively is to try and attend some trade shows, international trade shows that are in your industry, whether it's food or toys. You want to have a stand there and whether it's they have special ones in Asia, in the Middle East or in America, and you go and expose your products out there. You have buyers, distributors from every country coming in. They always want to have new products and new ideas to launch in their markets. So they're going to be interested and that will give you the right exposure. But it's always important to just select one distributor per country or territory and have an exclusivity with them. Because otherwise, having multiple distributors, they're going to end up competing with each other on price and eventually drive your product price down. And one distributor will say, well, look, I'm investing money, marketing it. Why should I do that if somebody else is going to capitalize on my sales? So just focus on one distributor, give them exclusivity, and they'll be more willing to invest in your brand. Second is appoint a distributor who's most excited about your product. You don't have to convince them and beg them to take your product because they're not going to do a good job selling it. So you get someone who's really enthusiastic, who wants to work with you, and you'll find that relationship will be a lot better going forward. The other point when you find your distributor is to work out the business terms. And again, make sure they pay you some advance. ID all of it upfront or 50% upfront. Because if they take your product and don't pay you, they're in a different country, it's a different legal system, you're gonna be in a pretty bad situation. And the other thing is, in the contract, set targets and goals. So you wanna be able to make sure they hit a minimum target per year. Because otherwise, if they don't hit that, they could hold you hostage and you'd be locked into that contract with them forever. Because if they don't perform the first year, you could say, well look, you guys haven't hit the targets, so I'm gonna pull it, I'm gonna find somebody else. You want that flexibility, so make sure that happens. The other point is you wanna make sure that distributor invests in your product. So ask them, how much money are you gonna put in to building my brand locally? And if it comes to a point they say, look, I need you to contribute because you're the owner of the brand, say, okay, I'm not gonna pay you money for it, but I will give you a percentage of what you sell, of what you buy from me, say 20% of what you sell, I'll put that towards advertising at the end of the year. So first you get paid and then you can use that money towards advertising. So you're not risking that. So that's a good way to be able to contribute money but still not be out of pocket. Don't give a discount. Instead, offer free product or a bonus. Because for instance, if you give 10 pounds off your order, that's 10 pounds less cash to you. Instead, if you give 10 pounds worth of free goods, that probably would have cost you only five pounds. So it's a lot cheaper to give free goods and it's sort of the same thing for the distributor's point of view, but for you, it costs a lot of less and you're not bringing your price down or discounting it. So I hope those tips were useful in terms of finding a distributor. Hope you're on your way to find someone good, but I'd start out in these ways. So if you liked it, please subscribe, thumbs up, comment below. Let me know what you think.